I want to highlight two important trends that are happening at the global level in all countries in the world. One is the speeding up of global warming. In Eastern Cape in South Africa, that region is warming up faster than other parts of the world. There are regions of the world that warm faster. And Eastern Cape has reached two degrees centigrade above pre-industrial level temperatures. The consequence of this is that livestock are dying massively, water's scarce for people, and crops are drying out and people are having to move out. This is a dryland area. National governments everywhere, particularly in the rich world where I come from, are proving to be wholly inadequate in responding to this crisis. Zaire Abad agenda is really a people's response to the climate crisis, to the loss of biodiversity, to food insecurity and malnutrition. It's a bottom-up process of community self-organization that doesn't involve market actors or state actors. It involves ordinary people crafting out their solution in this particular place. This is, needs to be noted of women's sangams and other local organizations as well as horizontal sharing between them. Innovate, share, extend the knowledge to other communities such as those who are part of the Millet Sisters Network. This is important. A lot of agricultural extension is failing. The knowledge is being generated, shared horizontally by local organizations who come together, who federate and provide structures for coordination, knowledge exchange and even self-managed research. This is happening here. Productive labor and the labor of care of the women farmers is actually regenerating local ecologies and economies in the pursuit for greater autonomy and food sovereignty. This is a remarkable feature of the dynamics that have been taking place here. Desire about agenda, the Dalit women and other women are affirming the right of their knowledge system to exist and thrive. I'm saying knowledge system, I'm not just referring to their knowledge, which is very sophisticated, their knowledge of plants and ethno-veterinary medicine. I'm talking about the system as a whole, which includes the knowledge interconnected with the land, the territory, the landscape, interconnected with their customary institutions, with their notion of sacredness and spirituality, woven together as a whole. That knowledge system is being affirmed through this process and should not be fragmented. This is an incredibly rich, um, inspiring innovation that can go very far if left to live and thrive, along with the ecologies that allow it to sustain itself. I like to call it the Zaira by people's agenda. It's actually support government. We have 160 sarpanches from four mandals. And they recognize this as being very important as a way, of forward, way forward to tackle climate change and other crises in the region. I think the Zairabad agenda offers incredible potential opportunities to transform towards more sustainable, ecologically sustainable, socially just food systems that can create the conditions for durable peace and well-being in this region. So your actions will travel, will inspire. They certainly inspire me. And I will be talking more and more about the work and more and more about this initiative and the backing of the local government of this incredibly important um, development at a critical time in history.